I am just saying. Oh my god, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh shit. Whew. But why are we bring you here today, people, is for That's uh, the start. That's the start we're going. Yep. That that's how we're intro and right into this. You gotta walk into this, you gotta have some fun. You gotta grab the attention and just hey, right ready. into uh if you're ready to talk about monsters, welcome. Boom. Godzilla. <sighs> Oh, we are looking at it from two different perspectives this evening, too. Yeah. So he Mick saw it last year, which I want to say this right now. So you saw it last year when yep, it came yep. out. This was your movie of the year, or was it number two? I I'm gonna say it's number one. It was um it was number two on my list at the end of the year. But it's but it was I it was your number one theatrical. Year. I know that, right? For I watched the the colorized theatrical mm-hmm. version. Yeah, I have not yet been able this weekend to go out and see the black and white um because they're only playing like two times a day and it's like the weirdest times too it is same here so it's either i can go like in about 30 minutes and not do this or i can go when we're supposed to do a show this evening <laughs> so i'm, I'm gonna have to hold off till tomorrow <laughs> yeah i'm telling you man because we so we went at that's the reason why me and the wife went at 11 o'clock this morning to go watch it because it was 11 20 5 o'clock i'm like five o'clock is not gonna work it's gonna roll into what i have to do because i gotta finish some things for popcorn and pints anyway and then like 7 50 i'm like that's definitely not gonna work and that was the only time like every day that it's up i'm like why do they keep doing this to me <laughs> why especially for something like this i will tell you this though i will tell you this this is what excited me number one they played it in our favorite little theater that we go to and watch which i don't need to say on here because that's none of y'all's business but we go there and watch it small theater recliners and it was in the reclined section as well the reclined theater in the you know what i mean oh, and i was just like oh fuck and i brought it in an energy drink because i was scared i was gonna fall asleep and uh, just because I had a long day, guys. That's what I'm going to say. Long couple you of days. You are going to fall asleep during this beautiful masterpiece well, of just, movie? It, it was more so just because, like, like I, I slept for, like, six hours in the past 48. <laughs> so I'm just, oh, like, I, I get I, it. I did all the shows and everything else I've been doing. Like, I've been going and going. So it's, like, not, not out of board or more so just out of, like, I'm sitting here comfortable. And then, again, this is why I feel like you need to see this if you've seen this movie in color or not. But go see it in black and white. I don't care if you've seen this movie or not. Because it's, it's, like, it's like a comfort. It's a it's a weird comfort watching it in black and white. And I was like I was talking to you earlier. It felt more realistic. As crazy as that sounds, it felt more realistic because it makes you think of like when you watch those documentaries of just all kinds of things and it's in black and white and you're seeing the story or hearing the story told, even if it's like a reimagined story, whatever the case may be. And you're seeing this and you're seeing the pain on the people's faces and just like a lot of changes in um oh I- where i forgot i wish i remembered his name but the main character you see him change so many different each time he encounters godzilla you see him change more and more and more and you see the pain on his face and just like what when this guy you you're you're almost thinking like this guy's gonna he's either going to destroy himself or destroy godzilla that's what that that was the only two options he yeah, and, and the fact that he he grew to realize what true sacrifice was. And yeah. the whole the whole idea of sacrificing yourself to an something to or people or something. And and Kochi is the is the main character in this Kochi, yes. the pilot. So for him to start out, I thought it was such so powerful for him to be a kamikaze pilot that that in the last days, I mean like the final final days of the uh uh of the war where it's not even needed they are literally the emperor is literally just ordering the all kamikaze pilots to to die that's just it so for him to you know be to think himself cowardly i don't think he was cowardly i don't think kamikaze Mm -hmm. pirates that didn't want to die are cowardly but um for him to to act in such a cowardly fashion for the time for the moment and to see the reaction from the main mechanic and things like that and then for him to to cowardly you know again for that time react to godzilla the way he did where he wouldn't couldn't fire and it causes their deaths and Mm -hmm. all of this guilt that he bent he he keeps collecting and everything good happening to him he wants to reject because i'm not worth it one day i have to die i have to die alone i have to die disgraced but for to get the to where it was where he realizes i have to sacrifice myself for my friends my family uh my home Mm -hmm. this is this is where i'm okay with it 
I, I, I'm a pilot. I can do this and I can take this thing out. And the fact, all oh, the ejection seat. Yes. When that scene flashes back and you see the two of them and just everything they've been in together, how much, how much hatred was there for a little while. It was such mm-hmm. a beautiful <clears throat> moment for him to say to him, it's okay to live. It was yeah. okay to live then. And it's okay to live now. God, this movie, this movie hits just as hard as the original. I would say harder. Yeah. Would, well, you know me, what? Like, you know why though and we we just was so so for everybody watching here on sturdy's channel we're doing a godzilla retrospective over on mine and sturdy Mm -hmm. has been joining in every week and it's been so much fun to talk to you about it the only reason i would say that it still hits hard that first movie is because literally these are the people the people who made that saw both of the atomic bombs go off Mm. so this was a desk that movie was a desperate way to say it's not good guys yeah it's not good and and what it can and and the destructive force you can have behind it so so i think that relevance in history will always keep that such an an important moment but goddamn this one yeah i'm not taking it no don't get me wrong i'm not taking anything away from the the original but this one right here and i'm telling i promise i no I guarantee you, when you watch this in black and white, you're going to get a whole different feel for it than when you watch it in color. You're going to be like, I'm so excited. Oh, shit. I see what Sturdy's talking about now. Yeah. And I'll probably get the same feel when I watch it in color. But I just feel, I right now, I the way I'm feeling, the way I'm speaking, the way I'm feeling in my heart, and the way I'm hoping is when I do see it in color that I still like it in black and white better. Because right now, I'm like, this is going to be tough to fucking beat. <laughs> this is going to be tough to fucking beat. And yeah. I'm going to go out and say this. This would have been, seeing this out, I got to see, so I didn't see this in theaters last year. It would have been, definitely been my number one theatrical watch. Definitely been my number one over talk to me. This would have been number one easily. But it would have still been number three on my overall list, believe it or not. Believe it or not. And that's because, you know, more horror based, but as far as like number one would still be the sadness for, for me and number two, evil when evil lurks, just because they took it to just a different, fu- another story, another time, another time. <laughs> no, in fact, go back and watch those reviews because they were really well done. Yes. Yes. When evil lurks, I don't know if I reviewed that yet, but I need to. Which they are linked mean? down below in the, in the descriptions. Make sure you do that. Yes. <laughs> hit, that link, hit that link. But oh my gosh, yo, this mute. Oh, so with my wife, that's what I want to tell you about, right? So she was talking about how her father like liked these movies and like you know grow you know she would watch them with them growing up and she always she was never a fan of them she just you know they're they're cheesy they're cheesy looking we don't we know how they look and all that stuff and so um the other day i think it was it was either tuesday or thursday it was a pod day for sure and she was like so do you want to go see this godzilla movie and i was like yeah i was like hell yeah it's in black and white too and um she kind of she, she kind of had that look like you know she's gonna go with you but she doesn't really want to see it but she's going you know just to go and she had that look today too and she left my theater with tears in her eyes I love she it. loved I love that it. Fucking movie she loved she's like she was like i want to see that in color now she loved that movie and she was I, telling me too she was like uh she was like it's funny she was like because i was she was like i was sitting in the living room and i was like just thinking her dad passed away by the way rest in peace but um oh my god i'm so sorry but you but uh, but what I was gonna get at was she was so this is why I'm saying this part is like she was like yeah I was on the like talking to my dad like I'm going to watch Godzilla with Aaron like in a little while <laughs> and now and she really 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 enjoyed that movie which it's I of course I feel like it hit a little bit different too for her of course which is dope mm-hmm. I'm getting this movie on Blu-ray for sure and it better have the fucking black and white version on it if, if it, doesn't, it doesn't I'll buy both yes I'm gonna buy the black and white version first but. <laughs> I would I would actually argue if you can buy them at both at the same time, yeah, buy them both at the same time. But I would actually argue because they probably put the colorized version out first if they do don't do a both, mm-hmm. uh, which would be stupid. But uh I would argue next watch, make sure to watch the colorized version because I'm gonna oh, tell next you. Watch, I'm next watch I, I will watch the colorized version, but I'm saying if say if they come out if they don't come out as a combo and it comes out one in one. I'm buying the black and white one first. Like I'm waiting until the black and white one is dropped before I decide to purchase anything, just because <laughs> it, I really enjoyed it that much. And I don't own a black and white movie, so why not? Be, why not that be my first? You don't own well, any I black could, and white movies? Maybe I do. Actually, you know what? Maybe I do. What about maybe Godzilla? Do. And, uh, not Godzilla. Uh, 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 Dracula and Frankenstein and such. I think I do have a few of those laying around. Actually, I don't think I'm lying. I know I watch some of them streaming, but I think I have a few tucked away somewhere. <laughs> I would love to. Um, well, actually, let me just ask you straight out. So you're still in this Showa era, right? Um, with the rewatches that we're doing? Yes, I'm still like I'm I'm just doing them for the movie just because I wouldn't even have the time to be able to do it. So I'm doing it as like, okay, what, what movies are next for that following Sunday? Like I got two more I gotta watch, which I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna do those today. I'm telling you, those are gonna be done Sunday when I get up. But uh 
yeah, tomorrow I'm going to do those two. And it's just easy just to do it like that. And what I did, what I'll probably be doing too is, I'll talk about that after actually, but the way I'm yeah, watching yeah. it now, just to kind of make it a little bit easier. What do you, yeah. what look of Godzilla so far um, do you oh. like the most that you've seen? Because you're, you're still going to have to go through a lot. Like, so you're going to see a bunch of different looks. I really dig 1985. So I can't wait to see what you think there. But I can't wait to see that. As of right now, I mean, not if we're including minus one, it's the definite minus one look in black and white. If we're not including that, I'd have to think about that. I'd have to go through and look at him again, the kind of thing. The original is my Your favorite. Right, right now, I mean, I mean, that the one now I respect the badass looks that this one has and even the American one. But, uh, and this one really, really reminds me. So, like, I love Godzilla. Mm -hmm. We know. So, uh, when I watch these movies, I see God's, I see Godzilla. I'm, I almost, I, I feel like I'm looking at my dog. That's the cuteness that I see from Godzilla. But just that, like, oh, you're Godzilla. You're amazing. But, like, I don't see a monster. I just see this adorable, yeah. like, figure. And I try to explain that to my wife, right? <laughs> she's like okay i don't i don't get it whatever it's a monster and but i i, I used one of the scenes in godzilla minus one because i love the the boat play they did with the godzilla mm -hmm. so when God, when the plane is flying around and it's towards the end i'm not going to give anything away but when the plane is flying overhead and distracting godzilla in the water godzilla's heads out of the water and just like kind of following the plane as it goes back and forth and the way you see the eyes move and the way you're seeing godzilla's head move i'm like that's a dog that's a dog watching some or, or like or like or chasing yeah with yep. its eyes something i was like and, and, and to me like solidified when i showed her that she was like all right i kind of get it now i was like that's like to me godzilla that's why i think everybody loves him so much is he, he reminds you of your pet he doesn't remind you of like this terrible monster but yeah i could see that <laughs> now, so that you mentioned, now that you mentioned i could see that and it oh my goodness i wasn't expecting this movie to be that good i wasn't expecting to like this movie that much like i was because like so the wife was like are you excited to come see this and i was like yeah i was like and not even that i'm in the godzilla that much I was like I'm, i was like i'm happy that i'm going through them but i was like you know i'm just getting introduced so i was like more so i'm happy that i'm seeing a movie in black and white and a foreign film in black and white i never thought i'd see it on the big screen so that's what i was most excited about and then the movie was just like blew my expectations i'll say so it was like you got that on top of the black and white which i wanted and the, and the foreign film which i wanted which for i'll say for foreign films i had a greater appreciation for those over the years of podcasting because i haven't seen like growing up i didn't see a lot i've seen a handful i haven't seen a lot i never searched for them but now i'm like yeah and then as far as black and white since childhood with just watching like bewitched and all that shit growing up watching those type of so i always had a comfort for black and white so that was just like a and it was late night that's the funny thing that's the funny thing. It was late, it'd be late nights, you know, and there's nothing else on. Nick at Night comes on. It's I Love Loose. It's all them shows. And it's just like, this is just awesome. It's in black and white. It's just awesome. And that's how I felt about this. It was just a freaking peaceful, beautiful art throughout this whole movie. Or not peaceful throughout the whole movie, but it was just like a beautiful art throughout this whole movie. The peaceful moments were peaceful, but those heavy moments, you're just like, oh, yep. shit. It's, and it's so, and the story mm -hmm. and, and the allegory to it, like, with nuclear war and like where we're at even now the tensions being so high and having to revisit this and be like you know there's so much poverty all over the world people are down the government's not mm -hmm. helping us in fact they're not even they're pretending like nothing's even happening you know they're telling the world everything's fine and we're getting killed here mm -hmm. um such a great uh parallel to what we're going through with our government and, and no support and, and and just poverty and having to build each other up i love that it's that sense of community you know it's a mm -hmm. We yeah. got to come together to do this. No matter all the differences that we have, we got to do it. Let's get in there and do it so we could stop this monster that has been created by them. Hell yeah. <clears throat> you know, yeah. I, I fucking, I loved that this movie has such an impact the way it does. And again, like the original, because that original stands out. In fact, America made their own to change the message because that message was so right and it mm -hmm. still holds true today and godzilla in my opinion is one of the best representations of all of that throughout the years yeah i can so, agree with that so. i can agree with that like this again i'm just like holy shit like how how did they do this like seriously how did they do this and <clears throat> i guess from what well, i have a question for you with the film f with your filmmaking background is how did they because i know it wasn't just throwing a filter on to make it black and white it was way too beautiful for that. Like, what did they, or do you know what they did? To it had to be, it, from what I 
understand just having seen scenes from it and mm-hmm. and things i've been reading about it <clears throat> excuse me um it's all color correction it's basically like because it's not that it's it's not that you just take away the color yeah they are adding color to it but in blacks and whites and, and certain tones right. that match that time so that way when you watch this it gives you the feel that it's 1947 yes you know you're living in it and then you know and even like godzilla from the pictures the stills and some of the videos i've seen it's so defined it's not just dark no it's it's, yo it's and and that's what that's okay so here's what i'll say about that that's what i love about this is it's still like it's yes it's a black and white movie but it's not like an old school black and white where it's like what what is that no you see everything it's still it's not too dark it's not too light it's perfect i'm just like whoa like i want to see more black and white shit like done like this (laughs) <laughs> seriously yeah. like why, why not have both give us both now Just- and it, it, yeah you know i love that black and white is becoming such an artistic <clears throat> um style choice mm-hmm. you know for for them to do this and then reissue it and put it back out and, and do as well as it did even after that like this movie cost less than 15 million dollars to make Shit. it was reported at 15 and a director came out and said i wish i had that much fuck and look what they made oh my gosh <clears throat> and it's made over a hundred million dollars at the box office how and that's to me that's and it's nominated for one academy award for visual effects how that story is not be- more uh beautiful enough to uh how like even seeing be... in black and white the visual effects are freaking amazing not even best international film the four of the foreign films it's the highest grossing foreign film i think ever <laughs> uh i have to double check that i don't want to i don't want to put that out as fact yeah. you know but i know it's the highest grossing foreign film from last year yeah and fuck i mean you just you see how many people it brings out as far as people that grew up fans of godzilla that were children watching these movies you know what i mean like growing up watching these movies in the 60s that are coming out to see this movie so from that era and a little older of course of until younger than us that's a lot of that's a lot of fucking people that are gonna go see this movie and that probably went to go see it again in black and white because <clears throat> there was a few older people and um there was a few couples in there and it's, of course going at 11 o'clock in the morning you know it's just gonna be older people in there anyway and it's five freaking dollars so hell yes yeah that's awesome. but anyway uh yeah it was there was like a few older people in there watching it in black and white it was just nice oh man i love watching people i love watching movies with older people they're so quiet and just chilling Damn, the best. yeah um you definitely get that feel for it. But, uh, you know, even that, like, I, I like your point there. When you're a Godzilla fan, you're a Godzilla fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you recognize the bad. You recognize the good. But you can go see this and still enjoy one of the crazy Showa era versus movies. Yeah. Or, you know, one of the crazy versus movies in the 90s. I think we collectively all agree that the Godzilla from 1998 fucking sucked. But, um, <laughs> which I'm going to do for it doesn't suck for this very purpose. <laughs> Uh-oh. for the thing that we're doing for the retrospective but um yeah for me it's it's uh it's just i love that anybody who's a godzilla fan can enjoy all of it yeah you know, all different storylines all different movies the legendary down to the um show us oh the high size are great you know so like mm-hmm. I, I am i just i love that i love that about this this ip yeah this this oh man well okay all right let's dive into this real quick what would you how what would you rate this movie? I think we know it's a ten. I, I was gonna say the same thing. It's it's it, it's a ten for me too. Um, again, if this was if I had watched this in twenty twenty three, especially in black and white, probably in color too, but especially in black and white because that's all I've seen. That's all I can go by. This would have been my number one theater theatrical watch and my number three on my overall watch because this was this was just it was. So I, I I I I would like to I like to pose a question. But this is oh. gonna be spoiler alert this will probably it's gonna be a tough tough for my first time overall watch it's gonna be a tough one to beat would you watch this movie if you completely bring godzilla out of it and put just bombings of tokyo yeah because you pretty much got that feeling i feel like godzilla actually made the movie softer because it's taking away the bad guy so i'm not saying this to be disrespectful i'm just saying just to kind of the yeah, bad guy yeah. aspect of America or whatever, whatever that's supposed to be. I don't know enough about history. I don't really pay attention to it that much because it, it could be depressing reading all bad negative stuff all the time. Rather not do that. But um, <clears throat> so I can and Godzilla, it makes it it makes it a more interesting story. It makes it a better story because who, yeah. who wants to hear the same shit over and over and over like that? So oh, no, but like, what I mean is if it if so the, you take Godzilla out and you just make him bombings, that just turns it into like a, a, a war drama. 
almost. Yeah, like or a documentary. Like, that's why I was saying with the whole watching it in black and white, it feels more like a documentary. It feels more real. And okay. you're seeing this. Like, what you'll see. Just, just the, I, like, I guess what I mean is, like, would you be attracted to a movie if you saw that on the screens? Like, you watching this movie without Godzilla in it. So you just call it, like, minus one, and it's about these Japanese people trying to come back. Foreign film. Um, Honestly, I would say if we were discussing it on Popcorn and Pints, hell yes. But just to go watch, no, just because that's not what I necessarily go for, especially in theater. Not, not that I wouldn't go see a foreign film, but... No, 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 more, no, no, no. That's perfect, though. Like, no, no. no. Say for me, for me to go see certain films like that, it would be horror based. Like, if it's a horror foreign film, I'm in there a thousand percent. I will be but, honest. I, I don't know that I would. I, I would, I would probably see this if it was that type of movie. Mm -hmm. Like, because I do watch a lot of uh, what's coming out of festivals and doing really well. So you know, mm -hmm. even foreign. And that's probably the way I'd see it if it was catching a lot of buzz and how good it was. And there's no doubt in my mind that a movie without Godzilla, this movie still holds up on its own and deserves an Academy Award. Do you? Okay. So it's with Godzilla, I still think it does because it enhances the experience. I, I was just saying, so you think without Godzilla, it would have probably been more in those discussions? It's well, yes, it would definitely have been more in the discussions because it's that damn good of a movie that the only thing holding it back from getting them is the fact that Godzilla is in it. They will never recognize a kaiju other than visual effects, and that's, that's so why they're goddamn assholes. But <laughs> it really is. is. And listen, I, I, I want to say this about your award shows this is why us as fans think you guys suck because you don't care what we think. Shouldn't it matter what we think more so about what, you know, because we're the ones that spend our hard-earned money buying these movies, going to see them in theaters, buying them a thousand times on Blu-ray, all that other bullshit, buying them on streaming and you, know, you guys ripping it down, <laughs> renting them on streaming, you guys ripping it down. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Show Dude, us some it's... more respect. Start, 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 start doing the fans a service. Start treating the people better in Hollywood too, of course, but start doing the fans a service and I feel like you, everything will get a lot better out there. Everything can get a lot better. You start putting things out there more, you guys cry and complain that because we don't go to the theaters enough start putting some better stuff out there and make the theater experience better make the theater experience better at all these theaters no matter what the cost is to get in the theater you can still make it a little bit better make it a little more fun for people to go in there why not that gets people to go in there more i'm not saying do anything to ruin the movie as far as jumping around noises and silly shit but just to make the experience better make it feel like an experience when you're going to the movies not you're just going to the movies and even though i love going to the movies but to get other people out there make it more of an experience than just going to the movies figure out how to do it, it has to be something and go see these movies go see these movies because these are <sighs> this shit was so good i'm so mad <laughs> so I'm like, good. justice for godzilla yes shit, That's just for the oscar <laughs> no oscar's so white oscar's no kaiju oscar... <laughs> oscar's no kaiju i like that oh my god so stupid oh, you know man. this is the first godzilla movie ever nominated for an academy award really i mean that's that is not as that's... unbelievable i think as because <laughs> they didn't have i don't think they had a foreign film back when the first okay one that, okay so that's not as surprising i guess because the way things were but this here oh my gosh this this just was i i don't even understand how it's not up and this this is why i don't trust these type of awards and all that bullshit because i'm like you go to see certain movies and you're like how the hell is this movie here how are they saying this movie is such a masterpiece this not the third but this isn't i'll tell you exactly why because you have to vote for the movies you want you get all the movies uh and you watch them or you can go you know they'll have screenings you can do whatever the fuck and then um they'll watch those movies and a lot of times the movies they don't want to watch they don't vote for mm. so it doesn't get any votes and i'm telling you i'll bet you most of those idiots in there saw godzilla minus one it's a foreign film oh, and can't, read. Like, can't do it not interested. you know here, here here academy awards here's what you need to do you need to start checking out us podcasters hiring us yep let us review the movies throughout the year boom end of the year Boom. Go by that. Because we're going to give you our honest opinions. We all talk shit about movies throughout the whole fucking year. I do it all the goddamn time. Well, why have an Academy of... Awards when we can make our own? <laughs> yeah. I can, I, I, I'm not against redeveloping the snobbies. But let's 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 hold that back because we have a lot on our plates. I'm just the saying. The first one ever is best kaiju movie. This. Boom. <laughs> Boom. But seriously, award shows. Fix your shit. Fix your shit. No, fuck it. Shit. Don't. Because we'll, we'll just do our own shit. Fuck it. Just do it ourselves. <laughs> just do it ourselves. Bring the people to us, right? Oh, man. This was such a beautiful fucking... Wow. Such a beautiful Like, movie. this should be up for any type of... What, I don't even watch award shows. So I don't know what the fuck you guys put up there, but this should be up for multiple. This is my argument. The Godzilla parts aren't even the best parts. They're 
Well, they're pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to say this. I got a Jaws feel from Godzilla, and I loved it. I freaking loved it. So yeah. it's the part where they're like, <clears throat> they're in the boat, the little they're boat, and Godzilla's kind of behind them. I'm like, oh my gosh, it feels it feels like, but not like a copy of Jaws, more of like a paying homage to it. Yep. But beautifully done, like paying homage to it. I feel like for any other movie that tried to pay homage to Jaws, wasn't done right until this, and it was done better than Jaws. I'm gonna say that. I wonder. I wonder if Spielberg watched this, which he didn't. But I wonder if Spielberg watched this and was like, "Oh my God, they did Jaws better." <laughs> that's what I was trying to do. Scenes, I feel like that's what he wanted. In that, yeah, the shark just didn't work. Yeah, he, shit. He what he did back then though was amazing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not taking any oh, credit for that. Any, he but, he made that. Oh, at, him doing that made this possible. Maybe we could say that. So. Shout out, to him. Shout out to him for that. But that, like that scene right there, I was just like, oh my gosh, that that's Jaws right there. Like, oh my gosh, that's so fucking awesome. And they're firing it off at him. Oh my god, mm -hmm. it was so good. And that explosion in his mouth, yes. And the yes. stop motion to build it back up when it regenerates was so good. It was regenerating fucking fast too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, man, go see this movie, people, in black and white, in color. Buy yeah. it when it comes out. I it's would love to know how much of this was practical versus visual Ooh. effects. Because I'll bet you the fucking Academy doesn't even know. <laughs> they definitely don't know. They don't care either. Mm. They want their same their same movies to win so that they can keep getting the same people to watch it and the same it's boring. You gotta put some more you gotta just put stop dumping the salt and pepper on there and butter, put the parsnips away and get some real seasoning, get some fresh ideas. And uh yeah, let's change things up with it. Make it better. Mm -hmm. Make all the award shows better because they're all the same. They're all the same. Even the ones that are like different nationalities, different cultures, and all, they're all the same. You have a jokes up there. Someone gets pissed off at the jokes. The comic's not funny enough. The award shows are boring. It's the same people winning. It's the same people getting screwed over that should be winning. It's, it's all the same. All the same. 100%. You might as well, you might as well just do them all in one night together. <laughs> Country, hip-hop, everything. Movies. <laughs> that might make it more entertaining, honestly. <laughs> do a crossover event. <laughs> Shit. Let's wake some people up. Uh, we can hold it in a very special place in our hearts yeah. forever. <laughs> and if you want to hear us talk more about it, <laughs> yes, we'll see you in, we'll see you in April. <laughs> yeah, definitely, you will see us see you in April. And that's, I mean, I, I, I may hold off till April to see it in color, just because we'll see though. We'll see. That'd be kind of cool. Bring that element to it too, and I'll probably have seen it in black and white by then. Yeah, I think I think that's what I'll do because I would watch rewatch it again by the time it's time to watch that. And uh, yeah. me and the wife, so as when we were leaving, you know, looking at the movie posters, and we're like, oh shit, so we see in the Kong versus uh, Godzilla. Like, yeah, we're going to come here and see this because why not? You should go, you should, well, you are, I guess, but <laughs> watching the other legendary ones, yeah. Um, you'll get, but Kong isn't on that list, so make sure you add that so that way you know. That's a maybe. <laughs> That's a maybe. It depends on when the movie's coming out, how many Kong movies there are. It's okay. I can tell you right now, it's Godzilla from 2014. It's Kong Skull Island. Then it's uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. That's and then it's um, Godzilla versus Kong. Some that we've already watched that we're going to watch anyway, right? Yeah, the only one we won't watch part of the list is Kong Skull Island because there is no Godzilla in that. Oh, so I'll just watch Kong Skull Island. I'll be good. <laughs> and there's the TV show we'll be watching. Wait, we're doing a TV show? Yeah, 10 oh, episodes. Geez. Don't worry. That's at the end. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried. I'm just all right. And it's good too. There's a lot of Godzilla in it. <laughs> like this, there wasn't a lot in there, but what I want to say about this too is when Godzilla was in it, the moments mattered. He wasn't just in it just to be in it. Yes. And you know what? Uh to add to that too is this is the first property in Godzilla that made me care about the characters because everyone you watch there's good stories that go with them and it's not that you like you want anything bad to happen to the main character yeah. or anything you're enjoying it but it's kind of a lot of those are all <laughs> over the place they don't really put up like there's in there's like so many characters this one was so centralized you really cared about kochi and his family and his friends and everybody yeah like you, did. you were just so invested in them and wanting them to uh survive this and be able to build from it and i will also say this and and that, that even includes all of those american movies i just said to watch mm -hmm. but even that created that tv show i was telling you about a monarch mm -hmm. a legacy of monsters that's where you're going to find your characters that you really care about not godzilla because kurt oh. russell and all them are all really great character so yeah um and and that's what i love that now in, at the end of 2023 
uh, into 2024, we got two Godzilla movies that are, or two Godzilla properties um, that are finally focusing on characters mm -hmm. and, and what they bring to it, you know, uh, and not point. in a selfish way either. Like they're there to serve what's going yeah, on. Yeah. Know? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I just, oh my gosh. Again, people, listen, if you haven't seen this shit, go see it. If you still have time, go see it in theaters in black and white. I promise you, you will not be upset. That shit was just like, I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, I know I'm not going to become a big Godzilla fan, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be getting a couple of shirts and one of them is definitely going to be the black and white version of this film. And you know, you're, oh, the snobs, that's a given though. People already know that. That goes without saying. The snobs version. Go get yourself one. Get it now before they tell me I have to take it down. <laughs> that's true. And uh, get the one that he's going to make in black and white as well. But get it. Get them all. Catch them like Pokemon. Yeah, that's one of, uh, dude, I'm so... That's best on, uh, best on screen explosion of last year. So Well, it's the only one I've seen, so I agree. <laughs> well, I, I, that's my poke at Oppenheimer, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, I know. With its but, 13 nominations. I'll take your word for it. You've seen both. I didn't. And we like, there's a lot of movies we like a lot of the same stuff of. And Oppenheimer, I feel like I wouldn't have even really been caring about too much. It doesn't seem like it's down my, uh, doesn't seem like something st st sturdy's going to turn in, tune into unless I have to for a podcast. I'll say that. And then I'll see what type of movie it is, if I like it or not. But it's not something like, oh, yeah, I got to see this. Because I don't care. But like, I'm not, I know this is going to sound crazy. Oh, as a you don't need to watch Oppenheimer. <laughs> no, I was going to say this. I know this is going to sound crazy as a movie reviewer, but I don't care about movies that are in the conversation just to talk about them. Like, I'm just, if I don't care about the movie, if it's not horror, and if I don't care about, I'm not going to do it just because it's in the conversation. Like, yes, I want my numbers to grow, but not like that. Like, I want it to be organic, not, oh, shit, I got to go watch. Like, without Oppenheimer. Oh, shit. Yo, Popcorn and Pines, let's go talk about Oppenheimer. Now, if we were, if they were like, yo, we should review this movie, cool, yes. But if it's like, yo, let's talk about it now because blah, 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 blah. But do we really want to? It's it, it's one of those weird kind of, I know it's in the middle, but I don't just do it. If we feel like talking about it, if it comes up on our wheel, if we have it, yes. But other than that, it's like, eh. I, you know what? I think that would be a really cool review to do on Popcorn and Pints is because you did have the Barbie versus Oppenheimer, right? I mean, we could do it over there. You do it over there, and then that would be a really cool comparison because I wouldn't mind rewatching doing it. Yeah, we'll talk about that. I'll talk about it with the guys after we're done with Star Wars and Star Trek, which <laughs> I'm enjoying it, but it's one of those things where it's like between doing this and the Godzilla franchise, I can't wait just to see a bunch of wheels spin. <laughs> on these I'm with you, dude. I, I, I'm like sturdy. I, I, I'm, I'm like planning my whole speech after Godzilla's over and <laughs> Star Trek started. I'm just like sturdy. It's been really fun, but and but, it's not uh, you, but I need to go abroad for like the summer. I get it. <laughs> I, which, which ties into this summer. Don't know what I'm going to be calling it yet, but foreign films through the summer. Pay attention. Tune into that because there's going to be some foreign films. There's going to be some black horror. There's going to be some fun stuff coming up on Horror with Sir Sturdy. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Sturdy's your using his, uh, his air miles and he's going to go. I am. I am. And Love I can't it. wait. I can't freaking wait. But with that said, people, we are going to wrap this one up. Got a lot to do. And uh, yes, time is uh, running. So thank you guys for watching this. Check out the scene slobs. Links down there in the description, as you guys know. We're talking about Godzilla over there in the scene slobs. Make sure you guys check that out. And get the merch. Of course, get the merch. And keep your eyes peeled for some sturdy merch. I'm saying it right now. Keep your eyes peeled for some sturdy merch because uh, I'm getting a little jealous of everybody selling cool ass merch. And everybody's asking me like, yo, sturdy, what the fuck? It's been <laughs> going on for these past X amount of years. Yo, sturdy, you're in year six. Where is the fucking merch? You've been saying this for the past X amount of years. You're going to start a story. Well, I'm going to be working on it in the very, very, very near future. And you uh, may even have a design done already. But we'll see. Stay tuned. Peace. Senior Nightmares. And go watch Godzilla if you haven't seen it. Yes. Because it was dope.